$500. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, you guys, in this video, we are going to talk about big money plush, plush or stuffed animals that sell for big bucks. I posted this in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group and invited everybody to share a plush item or a stuffed animal that they sold for a big profit. So I'm going to tell you where they got it what they paid for it and what it sold for. This is my Bolo Buddies Facebook group. Definitely check it out if you're not in it. There's a link down in my link tree. You can click on that and come follow. All right, come join. I guess it's join, not follow when it comes to Facebook. I finally found a Webkin's Timber in the wild. Found at a local church thrift store for 75 cents, sold within a week, did take a best offer of $110. And this is what it looks like bought this from a flea market for $2 and sold within 24 hours for $19.95. It looks like it is a 2021 Easter Winnie the Pooh. So just an unexpected plush that sold really quick. This one comes from Bolo Buddies member, I'm a resell it. This is his YouTube channel. Definitely check him out. And, um, you can find anybody that I mentioned in the video, if they're Bolo Buddies YouTube members, that means they have joined memberships for perks and I pop up a photo of either their YouTube channel or their eBay store and I link them down in the description. So be sure to give them a follow and check out what they're selling because most of them are big money bolo finders. I uh, purchased both in an old bicycle shop that shut down in the 70s or 80s that was having an estate sale, made a huge pile for 250, so into them for a couple bucks maybe. All right, so here we go. We got the first one here, which is a gunned vintage doll rubber face bumblebee. Right there, $250. And then the next three, well, there's, uh, they're pretty good too. Vintage gun tiger coat and hat. This is just the outfit, $23.66 plus shipping. Mattel King Kong 1966 RKO Talking Doll Blue Voice Box Plush, $100 plus shipping. And Hasbro Softies Wuzzies Rhino Monkey Plush Stuffed Animal from 1984, $29.99. And it looks like, I'm sorry, it looks like they all had free shipping. Yes, free shipping on those. I buy at 50 cents a pound at the bins type store, so probably 25 cents each. So the first one is a Hello Kitty Sanrio retired 2010 Build-A-Bear, white with a heart bow. Sold that one for 60. And the second one is a Moshi Teal Turquoise Microbead Plush Hippo by Brentwood. Sold it for 20 plus shipping. 25 cents each, guys. Sold in less than 12 hours after purchasing and putting up on eBay. She did not say, okay, here she goes. I got it at the Goodwill bin, so about 33 cents for it. And I've gotten a few 2002 Care Bears from there and have all had great margins. This one is a 2002 Care Bear Grumpy Bear. Blue rain cloud stuffed animal sold for, it looks like it sold for 60 Purchased this at an online estate auction for about $50. Took offers for $250 within the first two hours. I'm sorry, two offers for $250 within the first two hours on eBay auction. Held out for a bidding war and glad I did. Woo! $500. Vintage Disney life-size Pongo 101 Dalmatians plush Douglas, Douglas Company. Bought at the Goodwill for 99 cents. Sold in three days for full asking price of 22. Not a high dollar, but a fun, quick flip. It is Despicable Me Gru's dog, Kyle. I love it. He's so cute. Um, Mercari is a great place to sell plush. I've mentioned that before. Uh, definitely, definitely consider it. Looks like this one sold on Mercari as well. If you're not on Mercari, there's a link down below. It is my referral link. So if you use it, you're going to get $10 to shop when you join with it. You're going to get another $20 to shop when you sell $100 worth of stuff. And then they also give me money to shop when you buy and when you sell the $100. So um, it definitely helps me, but that's free money for all of us to shop. So thank you for using my link in advance. Bought this um, at a two, I'm sorry, bought at a thrift store for a dollar. Sold within a day or two, bought outright. 
funny because I bought for my son and thought it was an Ewok or something from Star Wars. My son said no and that he didn't like Power Rangers. <laughs> I threw it in the toy bin and pulled it out like six months later to list. Super shocked at what comps were. Sold it for $46. That's what it looks like. And that was on Mercari. Build a Bear Moon's a Glow Brown Werewolf. Halloween retired Moon Stars Glow Plush. Yes, big money bolo. Got it from a desert industries local thrift store found in a random shelf not in plush section as though someone had picked it up and decided not to get it paid two dollars sold for a full asking price of 195 plus shipping after i had taken an offer for 145 from a previous buyer that never paid and then relisted the item this one is definitely a bolo i have a build-a-bear um it's a what sold video but it's a category video where I search and find bolos for you guys in a specific category. This one happened to be on Build-A-Bear. And this is what the video looks like. And I compare what these Build-A-Bear sold for on eBay and what they sold for on Mercari. In a lot of cases, they sold for more on Mercari. So if you're not on Mercari, definitely consider it. You can start, if you're on eBay, you can cross post with list perfectly and get all of your items over there so quickly. Um, plush even sells on Poshmark. So I would recommend starting on eBay and then cross posting to Poshmark and Mercari, those plush. There are links for both down below. Also, if you want to see how list perfectly works, I do have a demo video down there and you can get 30% off your first month of list perfectly with coupon referral code BOLA Buddies. So check out that video, watch it, see if it's something that interests you. You can also list directly into the catalog or to the catalog into the other platforms. I kind of show all of that in the video. There's lots of options with List Perfectly. I've been using it since 2019 and I absolutely love it. And it's a great, great, it's great to get your items on other platforms because different platforms have different buyers. It's been proven and proven time again with stuff that I have put over there that has not sold on eBay and then it sells on another platform. Purchased for 25 cents at a church sale, sold in two days. It's a 2001 Universal Studios Sony PlayStation 18 inch Crash Bandicoot plush with tag $82.50. This one comes from Piece of Scrap. And I usually tell you guys she focuses on clothing and shoes and stuff like that, but she sold a plush. So check out Piece of Scrap. She is a Bolo Buddies member. She has a great YouTube channel. Definitely give her a sub. I paid $5 for this at the Goodwill. It sold for $42 shipped on eBay. Usually pass on Squishmallow since the Goodwill prices them up and puts the price right on the tush tag. You gotta love that. And this is what it looks like. It's Kelly Toy Anastasia the something. But um, yeah, $5. Oh, here's the tush tag. Ugh. Now, I will say, if that is not permanent marker, what you can do is you can take an aerosol hairspray and spray the tag. Don't touch the plush. Just spray the tag. Rub it with your finger and then rinse that under cold water and some of that ink will fade away. If it is not permanent marker, you can almost get the entire thing off. If it's permanent marker, you're not going to be so lucky. But maybe worth a shot, especially on a higher end item. Hi, Courtney. I sold this cupcake jelly cat for $80. He's not very big, less than four ounces. I picked him up at the Goodwill Benz a couple months ago. Probably have 30 cents into him. He had some dust and marks on him that I was able to easily clean up with a baby wipe in less than five minutes. I had him listed for a couple months. Thank you so much for all you share. I definitely was inspired to pick up this plush up because of all the times Jelly Cat has been mentioned on your channel. I love selling Jelly Cat. Never seen a cupcake. So cute. And that sold on Mercari. Five Nights at Freddy's plush items can be big money bolo. I scored 51 video game plushies for $40 at a moving sale, about 78 cents each. Had one buyer order these two items for a total of $118.98 plus shipping. I have sold through about half of or more of the 51 items and am still making money. This is what it looks like. There's um, the Five Nights at Freddy Cupcake, Five Nights at Freddy Helpy Plush, Helpy? Helpy. Pizzeria. I don't know. $33.99 and $84.99. This one comes from The Rebel Reseller. This is her YouTube channel. If you are not following The Rebel Reseller, you definitely need to follow her. She is a bolo finder specializing in plush. Uh, she does sell other things, but man, oh man, she knows her plush. 
Don't remember where I picked this up, but I would have probably paid a dollar or less for it. I listed it and it sold the same day for $79.95. Always check plush that are made out of terry cloth fabric. White rabbit plush terry cloth pastel green pink 12 inch main joy stuffed animal. And this is what it looks like. Here's an awesome sale I made thanks to you. I never used to look at any plush, but now I check them all. Got this jelly cat lion out of a free bin. I couldn't find any comps, so I posted it a little higher than the most expensive jelly cat lion, and it sold for full asking in less than 48 hours after I listed it. I got $168.55 plus shipping. Thank you so much for all you've taught me. It's an ultra rare, hard to find jelly cat brown wild thing lion bean plush floppy. Oh, that's awesome. This one comes from Childhood Finds, and this is her YouTube channel. She is a bolo finder, super knowledgeable. She sells way more than plush. Go check her out. She said, I always pick up fun plush golf head covers when I find them. I picked this one up at a thrift store for a dollar and sold it for full asking price. It is Winning Edge Designs Driver Head Cover Polar Bear with Fish Golf Club Head Cover. Sometimes people will also put puppet in the title. Hi, Courtney. Thank you for all you do. I bought this plush at a Goodwill for $1.11. I could not find one similar for comps. I listed it high at a buy it now for $100. I made a few offers to my watchers at $90. I got a counter at $45. I took it. Buyer paid shipping. Total sale, $58. I'm not upset with this sale. It's a Webkin Gans Oatmeal Pup Plush. And it is super cute. No code, hard to find. Purchase for $2 on Friday in an estate sale. Listed for $39.99 on Saturday. Sold for full price on Monday. Thank you for teaching us the value of larger plush. Buyer was all in for $54.98. It's a Floppy Friends plush bunny rabbit, white stuffed animal, Mervyn's Toy, 26 inches, vintage. This one comes from Picker Money Flipper on eBay and YouTube, and they have an awesome YouTube channel as well, and they are big money bolo finders. Paid a dollar at a yard sale, and the plush sold for $50.96 plus shipping. It's a Wow Wow Wubbies. Wow Wow Wubbies. 2007 Fisher Price Flexible Tail Plush Sings Talks Stuffed Toy. Bought a year ago at a secondhand shop in Northeast Tennessee for around a dollar. Originally listed, I believed around $225, reduced after Christmas to $175, and full asking price of $175. It is a Lisa Frank plush Easter bunny rabbit, 1980 or earlier. Or earlier. Or earlier. And I didn't, I would not have looked at that and thought Lisa Frank. Huh. The colors just don't scream Lisa Frank. Awesome. $175. This one's mine, guys. I got this at the bins. A lot of times at our bins, depending on the day, sometimes they will do the larger plush for a dollar instead of by weight. So I got this for a dollar and I sold it for 79 plus shipping. It's a vintage American Wego or Wego bear, honey bear plush stuffed animal. And this is what it looks like. I grabbed 38 plush at a yard sale for a dollar each. Lots of Five Nights at Freddy and that genre. This was the first one that sold and I gave the lowest sale th I gave the lowest sale through rate to a kid I adore who collects not Five Nights at Freddy. Not a huge sale but a dollar into 30 is always a win. Resident Evil plush Nemesis Stubbin Collector Edition official removable felt and this is what it looks like. So a dollar into 30. Spent a dollar or less on a big bundle at a yard sale. Gans Baby Buddies Giraffe Rattle Yellow Purple Green Plush Stuffed Animal. This one sold for $38 plus shipping. All right, and the last one here. I picked this up at the Goodwill for $3.99, which is more than I can usually tolerate paying for plush. Comps look good and video game characters really seem to do well. It sold in less than a week for full asking price of $39.99 and buyer paid shipping. I also picked up three Five Nights at Freddy's plush for the same price that day. Still waiting for those to sell. It is a Pikmin Captain Oilamar Little Buddy 1652 plush Nintendo stuffed animal. And it sold for $39.99 plus shipping. So yes, I do have to agree like video games and TV shows. A lot of times those plush are a little more than bread and butter and some of them can be big money. So you will find that plush are all over the place. A lot of them are long tail. So don't watch this. And think you're going to go out and find plush that are going to sell for crazy big money really fast because a lot of times 
They sell for bread and butter, which is, you know, 15 to 40 bucks. And they take a long time to sell. I'm not going to lie. A lot of plush takes a long time to sell. A lot of them are big. They take up space. So depending on how much space you have, you may want to be comping out your plush and not just buying it in bulk because it does take up space. So that's just a little Bolo Buddies tip, but it is easy to list. It is easy to ship and I love selling plush. So thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share and let me know if you want me to continue to do this plush series. Thanks for watching.